skill-based matchmaking should be optional in Call of Duty Black Ops 6. First, I'm a below average player with a KD of around 0 0.9 to 0.95. And during the Black Ops 6 beta, I played around 140-ish games. And three of which are in this video because they are my best overall games. However, the experience I had with Black Ops 6 Beta was absolute garbage. It was completely opposite of what I was expecting um, because I'm like a very casual player. Um, you know what I'm saying? I've reached the pinnacle of my skill. Now it's par for the course to occasionally see high profile players like pros, YouTubers, Twitch streamers and the like. But, you know, I would see those guys like once every like between 40 to 60 games, I think. And now keep in mind, like this is the beta. So I'm like, well, OK, I'll give it some leeway. It's probably like a higher frequency of skilled players in my lobbies because there just aren't that many people or in my area or blah, 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 whatever the case may be. And the game times and all that stuff. But I was seeing guys that were like way above, way above my skill level. Like there was like no chance for me in the lobby. And I was seeing those guys, if not every game, like every other game. And I was just like, yo, what, what's going on? Like what's there? There's no way this is real. I was very surprised because like the skill based matchmaking was, it's been exceptionally strong in like the last couple of CODs. But I saw a comment in somebody's stream and I saw some other stuff on Twitter that leads me to believe like, OK, like maybe the people that I'm seeing are abusing the hole in the algorithm to get into my lobbies. And that's why I'm seeing such a high frequency of those guys with the occasional like high level player with like the added frequency of blah, 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 blah. You guys get the gist. And it's like, like, OK, I, I get it. And that kind of like brings me into like my first point, which is skill based matchmaking needs to be an optional thing. It needs to be something that we should be able to opt in and out of as not just players, but more so on the part of consumers. Like if I pay for something, I want to be able to do what I want with it, um, you know, inside the like parameters of like this game being like a more so a service. Right. And it's like. I want to be able to play against people who are strictly my skill level because I'm a lower skill player. I don't really want to see anybody above like a 1.20 KD, um, you know what I'm saying, for the most part, uh, because I'm just trying to enjoy myself and have a good time casually. Um, and even the sweats, you know what I'm saying, oh, the dreaded sweats, you know, uh, those guys are also casual players, you know, um, and I think people, a lot of people forget that. The players who are above average in the community have been very vocal about not wanting to have skill-based matchmaking in the game. And really what I think a lot of people mean is, like I said earlier, having strict skill-based matchmaking is the thing that really hurts the player overall experience, especially the casual experience, which is who they're optimizing or trying to optimize the game for. And I think they just end up hurting themselves or in, you know, uh, and biting themselves in the butt with like uh, people using these loopholes to like try and get into lower level lobbies like mine. And honestly, options similar to this have already existed in COD. A lot of people may not remember, but Call of Duty Black Ops 2 used to have matchmaking preferences. And in Black Ops 2, matchmaking primarily focused on connection and quality to ensure that people had a smooth game. And that attempted to balance the teams to avoid shit being like too one-sided. And the overall player experience back then was much better than what we're seeing today with SBMM implemented into the game at such a strict level. And skill-based matchmaking, much like connection-based matchmaking, should be up to the players or more so the consumers, since we're the ones purchasing the game at a premium. The idea is to get away from strict or enforced skill-based matchmaking and not to completely get rid of skill-based matchmaking because it does serve a purpose for guys like myself or even really a lot of people who are even below where I am. But nonetheless, it would do Activision, Treyarch, and pretty much overall this DNA entire community everybody a lot better to just try and implement another layer of matchmaking preferences and make them accessible to the community just like combat pacing was in call of duty vanguard now i know vanguard isn't the best example 
but combat pacing is one of the tools I have in recent memory that allow COD players to take control and break that repetitive chain of SBMM to help tailor the matchmaking experience to exactly what they want so that they can have fun with the game. Because I don't want to get on another COD game and stress myself worrying about how to please the algorithm when Call of Duty needs to be way more worried about how to please the community. But that's going to be all for the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to go ahead, drop a like. Go ahead and comment down in the comment section below what you guys think. Are you guys going to be purchasing Black Ops 6? Are you guys not? How do you guys feel about skill-based matchmaking? Do you think they will reduce it by the time the official launch comes out? Will combat pacing ever return? Let me know. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you guys never miss an update. It's been your boy, Fears Jake, and I'm out. Later.